Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough and tutorial series for Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode we once again gained our independence from the Kingdom of Denmark. We attempted to take over the kingdom title for Denmark. However, currently the holder, King Tolir of Denmark, is still in a whole bunch of wars, so until he's finished with that, we're not going to be able to take it. But once he is finished, we will be able to. So, in the meantime, I have been considering my options, and I think one option we should really consider, and might prove to be somewhat useful, if uh, instead of heading to take over, or uh, to get a Catholic person into our lands, instead we could go and take over the prime locations for the Germanic faith, and potentially reform the faith. So to do that, we will have to take some of these locations. Uh, one of them is the holy site of Tholen, is not held by a member of the Germanic faith. Now Tholen is over in Zeeland here. It's this little bishopric. So to take that, we will have to invade Middle Francia, and I just noticed that Middle Francia has broken all up again into Middle Francia and West Francia which means it's the perfect time for us to go and take it over. So the Middle Francia has currently 3.69k troops. We're currently at 4k, but we can raise the tribal army pretty effectively. So I think we're going to do that. So let's, uh, well, let's just declare war and see what happens. And hopefully this works out. So we'll declare war our focus is going to be the conquest of Zeeland. Council approves six versus zero. So let's do it. Next part, we can call in our allies. Looks like two of them will join us here. It's always a good sign. We'll bring up our levies, bring up our ships. All right, embark, 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 and embark. And then bring all our ships together. Now I'm not going to raise a tribal army just yet, I'm going to hold off for a moment, see what happens, if we can do this without them. If we can't, we'll have to bring on the uh, bring on those forces. Alright, come on guys. Oh, there we go. I just had to merge the boats together. Alright, so we have our main force here. We'll merge them together. Let's see. So we have Ragnar on that flank. We really don't want Ragnar here though, so he kind of sucks. So we'll just put him there. And a child is lacking education focus. Communism the second. <laughs> so we have a communism and a communism the second. Oh, how lovely. All right, what's his education and focus going to be? I think Marshall is probably the best bet with this one. That way we'll have a communism that can do intrigue and a communism that can wage war. Oh, we lost our Marshall. What happened? Did he die? Died of severe stress. What the hell? Alright, uh, you know what? We got Ragnar here, but he sucks. So we're, we're taking our really good guy. And he's gonna train troops over here. Of course, now we gotta take on a whole new good guy. How good is this one? He's 14, it'll work, I guess. Now really, I should probably be leading troops, because I'm so good, but, uh, eh, we'll hold off on it for the time being. Although I do have some really good attributes for it. Ugh, I'm thinking about it. Screw it, you know what? Let's lead him from the front line. 
As long as they don't get overwhelmed with a massive force, I think we'll do all right. And we have an army of Duke Girard there of West Francia. But for some reason, he's not actually involved in a battle there. I'm kind of confused. But at least our, uh, our reinforcement army is finally showing up there. Now, one bad thing is we are currently losing a lot of money right now. So that really sucks. But once we finish the siege, we should get a nice little hit. Ada, uh, let's see. You're either way with that. We'll make you uh, intrigue focused. Okay, so we did take that location and we did get some money from it. No, Alexander died. This war isn't going as I thought it would. I'd lose more men per battle than I'd planned in the sieges. The sieges are going on forever. Um, I'd do it, but he sucks. And now they have a big force heading here. So let's see. Let's slow it down so we can actually view as this fight goes on. So right now we're in the skirmish phase on both ends. It's about even right now. We do have a lot of forces though. Uh, big issue is they have a lot of cavalry. So that can kind of hurt us. I think the light cavalry do a good amount as far as aiding with the skirmish phase. Yeah, archers, horse archers, and light cavalry. We're sort of holding our own. Alright, part of them... Alright, they're falling. I think we have this. But only just barely. It was a rough battle, that's for sure. Alright, but from that battle we got a big change in war score, a good amount of prestige and piety. Alright, and we captured Henrik, can we ransom him off, or we can recruit him, offer to release Henrik from prisoner in return for his service. He's Polish, huh, that's interesting. Unfortunately he's not very good, so I can declaim poetry <laughs> by declaiming terrible poems to him. Uh, can we ransom him? No. So we'll just do him in the blot when the time comes. Now, I would love to run after this army and wipe them out. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a little skeptical about the current state of our morale. Actually, no, I can't. I can't. I was going to go after them and follow them, but it, it wasn't looking too good for that. But they're deciding they want to come at us again, so... Let's have at it. Alright, again it starts with the skirmish phase, and again they have a good amount of cavalry. Actually, we have a bit of cavalry here as well. That's surprising. I didn't... Where did we get the cavalry from? Is that just from the natural... That could just be the natural... Levy itself. No, it doesn't look that way. I have no idea where the cavalry came from that's on... It said defenders? Unless it's... Oh, okay, I see. So that cavalry actually came from the fact that we own this uh, castle here. Yeah, 83 cavalry. Okay. That explains it now. I was rather confused there for a moment. <laughs> Alright, so let's head for Zealand. After that, we should pretty much be done with this battle. Small kitten is demanding is demanding your attention. Pet the kitty. Allow the kitten to follow you home. Kick the kitty. Uh, well, one thing I noticed is if you have a pet dog, you don't want to get a pet cat. Does not look like I have a pet dog. So, 
Let's take allow the kitten to follow you home. So apparently we found a kitten while we were out here taking over and all that. <laughs> Now the big question is going to be, once we do have control over here, is what do we do from there? I'm um, not entirely sure. I think we'll have to build a tribal holding to actually take control of this area properly. Or we can just give it away to someone. That's always an option as well. What happened to Folky here? He didn't even get around to having his... To having his... Uh, <laughs> child bride he died clutching his hearts so he was probably poisoned or something or maybe he was one of those young kids that has a heart attack at a young age could be well fudge young Ada is developing a stubborn streak as you teach him to be more proud yeah we'll make him proud or we attempted to anyways but he still ended up stubborn Oh well. Alright. Our new goatee will send him to build zeal. We got rid of the thieves guild. Excellent. Now, as far as reforming the faith, uh, I want to say we'd also have to take care of this holy site as well. Because it's currently, it's a vassal of another religion. I think anyways. I don't know, I've never actually reformed the faith before. Moral authority must be at 50%. You only control one. You need to control at least three holy sites. You need 750 piety. Okay. So I would have to gain control of the holy site that's here in Saxony. It's a possibility. Alright, we're at 100% war score. Force our demands. Alright, next. We have to give away some of this stuff. We have the temple. Let's uh, create a new vassal. For the city, we'll create a new vassal. And for the county capital, I can't create a new vassal. Now I can build a tribal holding here for 24.2 uh, prestige. That's not bad at all. So let's do that. And we'll have our forces stand down. We'll bring those boats in, have them stand down. And as soon as we have that tribe built, we'll be able to move on to... Let's see. Now I know, uh, well, once we have the tribe built, we'll be able to take over this place and give Middleburg to someone else. We can also pillage this holding. But... Uh, I don't know if it would be worth it to do that. Whether it would be beneficial to us or not. Probably not. And he is still at war. I thought he would be done with the war by now. I was apparently wrong on that. <laughs> Alright, so if we're going to take another location here, probably best bet, let's focus on the location that we need, where this temple is. Now, can I declare a war to take over Braun Schweig? Automatically. I can free captives, claim Hamburg, conquest of a lot of places I can conquest, but it does not look like Bromschweig is one of them, unfortunately. Yeah, which means we're going to have to either do the gradual conquest of locations around here, which is an op is is an option, or we can attempt to uh, claim that holding. I think I think we'll go with taking Holstein. That's probably our best bet. Uh, let's see. 
Current military is 3.63. Let's give them a little bit of time to build up. My steward tells me Zephyrs at praising my name have met with great success. Oh, I got some uh, warriors there. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I probably could use them then. Yeah, let's use them. Take over Holstein there. Conquest of Holstein. Everyone votes yes. And we should be able to do it. Doesn't look like he has any allies, so we should be good. Alright, raise forth our armies once again. And to war we go. Oh, and it looks like all of our allies will accept coming into this war. Excellent. Alright, so we got myself, Holmger, and Ragnar. Ragnar, why do you keep joining this force? I don't really want you in this force. Oh, <laughs> oops. The army from Holstein was trying to get over here to help out, but uh, yeah, that didn't go so well for him. And I have lost my steward once again. Hacken, you suck, so I'm not going to take you on, has it? We'll do Ofeg. Well, unfortunately, even though we are, we still have a lot of work to do, and we still haven't taken over the kingdom of Denmark yet because he's still at war, <laughs> um, at least we are making progress. And we are expanding out our empire to probably the strongest that it's ever been so far. Which is a good sign, a really good sign. Oh, and the war has ended. And now he is... Well, he's still at war. But it looks like he's pretty much lost everything. He only has the chiefdom of Skane and the kingdom of Denmark. Bishop Usulutz preacher in service of King Drosten of Pictlin, has arrived in Cielin to spread the gospel of their foreign religion. You know what? Tell us more of Jesus. Because this could be our opportunity to finally take it on. Now, of course, once we do that, we'll have a whole slew of different issues that come up, but we might be able to make it work. Oh, you're still fabricating claims? Let's uh, do something else with you. Let's see. Of my vassals, Ragnar, you're not a powerful vassal, so you should like us more. for Lenneberg next and our tribal holding has finished excellent so we'll go back over here the tribal holding is the main thing and we'll turn the barony we'll create a new vassal there so Freyr here is a feudal Germanic dude interesting next let's see we'll probably build a Oh, I don't know if I want to build a hill fort just yet. We'll hold off for a moment. At least till we get some more money going. Coming in. It's interesting to look and see that for the most part, all of Saxony here is... Even though they're Catholic, they are still tribal. 
As he is growing older, I can see that communism the second could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas, the art of war. This is my chance to make an effort for the sake of his education. But what can I offer? Bravery or toughen him up? Let's see. He becomes strained, I become stressed. Or he gains wrath. And I lose kind. Well, brave is pretty good overall to Marshall. What's the thing about cruel there? Oh, I could probably become cruel. That's probably what it is. Roth is three Marshall. I think I'm going to go with Brave. That seems to be the better option. And he has become Brave. Excellent. All right, well, while we have a moment here, let's uh, go back to our intrigue screen. Look at our prisoners, and we have some people that we can rank them off. Let's do that. Warning reports have reached you regarding your marshal. It seems he's been using your soldiers to extort money from the peasantry. Well, it looks like we're going to get a boost and uh, revolt risk. Either way, I will deal with this later. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Because we're going to have the revolt risk either way. And he's a good marshal, so we'll, we'll take it. So it looks like Sealand had the revolt risk. Let's change him to suppress revolts. Ooh, what is this? Well, once we take this, we'll move on to these guys here at Saxony. And this is not a good sign, the fact that our heir is having... keeps producing female heirs. That's never a good sign. And we are done with the war. Alright. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. And let's see. We can give Ada some help. Now I can toughen him up. Though I would lose kind. Um, kind hurts my intrigue, but it helps my diplomacy. And I kind of do need that. Ada must learn on his own. We'll do, we'll do that. Alright. What's this? Peace be with you. We offer you for the safe release of Alfred Hognus. Whatever. Sure, why not? She was married to King Communism the Cruel of Denmark? Oh! This was like a long time ago. So what is Alfred then? My seer, Godi, tells me that the efforts at increasing religious fervor have met with success. We got a small group of zealots. Uh, should I do anything with the zealots? Can I do anything with the zealots? Well, we have this... Uh, we can take Pomerania here. He doesn't have much. I mean, we could establish a tributary state as well, but... Uh, you know what? I think we're gonna just conquest. Because they don't even have enough troops to survive against my zealots. I'll call the allies in, but I don't really imagine I'll need it. And at least we are gaining more land to gain this high chiefdom under our control. Oh, would you just end that war there so I can finally... <laughs> finally take the kingdom of... Denmark again. 
Although I guess I'm done with the treaty, right? I think I'm done with the treaty. Yeah, so once we take this, I think we'll just invade Skane, take it. Then we'll gain the Kingdom of Denmark title again. And 100% enforce the demands. Alright. So I guess we do need someone else to take over this land here. Uh, let's do someone with high stewardship. So, we'll invite a noble to court. Excellent. Let's give him some land of Mecklenburg. Of course, now he's a powerful vassal, so he wants to be our steward. And you know what? He's pretty decent at it, so we'll do that. Alright, we got to use our zealots there. Skein, du jour, claim. Let's do it. I don't even think I need to really even use the full power of this army here, but we'll bring him in. Oh, he's still Denmark still exists all the way up here. Interesting. Oh, I lost my chancellor. Oh well. Let's see. Communism, I guess you could be chancellor. You're pretty good. Oh, this guy isn't the... This guy's an entirely different guy from the other guy that we were taking out. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Alright. We have one known plot here. Kill Bjorg, my kinswoman. Oh, I don't care about that. And let's follow after that army there that decided to attack us. Because if we can wipe out that army, that'll really help us out. Well, we captured this guy. He's really good at intrigue. And communism the second has arrived with his good martial score. Yes, we'll just keep going back and forth here, wiping out this army. And once they are wiped out, then we can now we can focus on taking Skein completely. Then hopefully, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to take over the Kingdom of Denmark title. I can only hope anyways. Because we really do need to take a kingdom title before communism perishes. Because if he does die, that's going to be a problem. Disregard, disregard. Because they got a big army heading for us here. Just stay there. I might have to call in a tribal army here. 
Young Ada has finished his education. He's become a really good uh, elusive shadow. And let's see, I can make him kind? Sure, why not? He's frail, though. That's not good. How are we doing in this battle here? Are we winning it? Are we winning it? I think we're gonna win it. We're definitely gonna win it. And that might just be good enough to declare victory. And my domain is too big once again. Alright. As far as my family goes, I have Communism the second here. Let's give him the Chiefdom of Skain. Of course, now he wants to be part of the council, which kind of sucks. Ugh, but I did give him that too, so he'll hopefully cooperate for the time being. Oh god. <laughs> Jolanta. <laughs> oh, that's my niece. I don't want to. Never mind. I don't want to. <laughs> don't want to get married to any relatives. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, we got some. We got some Catholics around here. Although they're old Catholics, so that's not too good. Get them married off. All right, you guys and you guys end. Now, is there a chance that I can claim the kingdom of Denmark now or usurp it? Still no, because he's still at war. Seriously. Would you just lose this war? War score. 28% in favor of King Nikita the Cruel. King Nikita of Lithuania. That's a high chief. Oh, it's because uh, Lithuania is kind of in a revolt right now. I think. I think, or... Either that or there's multiple Lithuanias right now. I think there's multiple Lithuanias or something. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Ah, uh, Well, we don't have the Kingdom of Denmark. But at the very least, we are expanding ourselves a bit. So that's always a good thing. Um, yeah, we've made some progress. I think we have a lot of potential here. Big thing is we're definitely going to have to try and gather up as much money as we can. So we might have to do some more raiding in the next episode. Oh, what are you guys doing out? Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for here today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this little episode has been enlightening. One thing I do ha definitely have to do is I have to make use of this prestige before I die. So actually, you know what? Let's start it. We'll do a training grounds here. Because I'm currently 44. So probably by like 55, I want to use most of my prestige up. Because if you die with all of that prestige, yeah, it goes into your main score. But we're not playing this for a score. We're playing this to build the Scandinavian Empire. So, all right, folks, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click on the little bell icon so you stay notified on all of my streams and videos. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you with it. And hopefully we can work things out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.